Chase, it's Thanksgiving. Yes. You've got the, you guys have gone through ups and downs, and we were just talking to Kalani. I just asked him about this because sometimes these seasons where things don't go your way make you more grateful for the good times and things like that. How does how do you feel about that, and, and what do you see from the boys? You know, as as you kind of have an excuse to to maybe be a little more grateful this week. No, it's for sure put things into to perspective. You know, being Thanksgiving week, and um, you know we have had a, a rough season and. Uh, but it's been awesome to look back on the great times that we've had. You know, being senior night just a couple days ago, we were able to remember those moments that we've had together with the seniors, with, with everybody. You know, the early morning lifts, the going out to eat, the little things, uh, you know, practices. They're, they're rough, they're hard, but, but we love each other and, and we're just so grateful for the opportunity to play as a team, to represent BYU, to represent, you know, our Savior Jesus Christ. And, and everything that we do, and, and it's been an awesome week. Um, you know, last week was awesome, and then uh, we're, we're getting ready to prepare for another awesome week. Jake and then Jay. Jay, I know you haven't played every game this season due to mm-hmm. some injuries. Yeah. This is your first, I guess, full season of college football. I, I guess going into the final week of the year, how would you evaluate it for yourself? I wouldn't take anything back. It's been such a, a perfect year, I feel like, for, you know, for learning, for growing, for being the best, you know, football player and man I could be, uh, you know, having to battle some injuries and, you know, having ups and downs. It's been, it's been a journey for sure, but I felt like Heavenly Father's hand has been in every aspect and helped me become the man he wants me to become and, and also uh, the team uh, that, we, that he wants us to be, you know, to represent him and to represent, you know, this university and everyone that is affiliated with it. So um, definitely a lot of ups and downs, but I wouldn't take anything back. It's been amazing. Chase, uh, obviously Stanford recruits a lot of Utah kids, Mm -hmm. a lot of LDS kids. Uh, Number one, did they offer you? And just number two, what is your perspective about Stanford as you go into that game? Um, I definitely talked a lot with Stanford. Um, I committed early here at BYU as a sophomore and um, kind of told them early that I was, I was headed here and um, they didn't ever offer, uh, but I'm grateful for, um, you know, Stanford and everything that, you know, how they impacted me, you know, pushed me as a young kid in high school. And I'm, I'm excited to, you know, go see the coaches again and all the players. And I was close with some that committed there, you know, Tanner McKee and, and other guys. And, uh, it's it's going to be awesome to be on on their campus and be able to uh, just be around the the amazing people that represent that university and and go you know we're going to go perform and, and hopefully do well. Sean and then Mitch. Yeah, Chase, I'm, I'm really not trying to put you in an awkward spot, I promise. But I want to ask you a little bit about Puka Nakua yeah. and kind of what he's meant to this wide receiver core. Because you've, you've talked about him a little bit through the year. And I know he's still got a decision to make about yeah. whether or not he wants to come back for next year or not. But mm-hmm. he did walk on senior day and that kind of thing. So just what has he meant to this wide receiver core? And, and what kind of what kind of a guy is Puka? Sort of the guy that maybe we don't even see all the time in the mm-hmm. media. It's, although he's a pretty open book, it seems like in that regard. <laughs> yeah. But what what kind of a guy is he? Just with you know, with the wide receiver room, sort of behind closed doors too. He is one of a kind. Uh, Puka has been a great example of of leadership, and you can see his passion on the field. But it's nothing you know like what we see in in, in film, in meetings, and everything. His passion for the game is out of this world and nothing I've ever seen. Um, so that's, it's been a great learning experience for every one of the wide receivers and the whole team to see how much he loves football, how much he loves his brothers, and how much he loves BYU football and, uh, especially. Um, he's put his heart and soul into every, every minute. You know, he's been here on campus, and, and I'm grateful for, for him. And whatever he decides to do, we we're obviously hope he comes back. And um, we don't know yet, but he's... Whether he stays, whether he whether he leaves, he's had an amazing impact here at BYU, not just BYU football, but this whole university. So grateful for him and, and what he's taught me and everyone else. Yeah, Chase, uh, is, assuming, you know, Puka goes, uh, you know, because he got that senior bowl invite, assuming he yeah. goes through with that, I mean, what are, what are some of your goals that you have in, in, in your BYU career moving forward and maybe what can uh, – 
these last couple games due to maybe springboard things going into the Big 12 for you, for you personally? Yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm just going to go play. You know, I want to be um, the best football player I can be and, and a good leader to, to everyone around me and, and an example. So I'm just going to be me and uh, go perform and, uh, you know, be that, that leader, that example to everyone uh, so that, you know, going into next year that, um, that we have, you know, people that are, are ready to go. You know, we're going in the Big 12, and we need those people to stand up and, uh, and be, be a leader, be, a, be someone who people can count on. So that's, that's kind of my goal. And, but overall, it's just, you know, just being me. And I'm going to go represent this university and represent my family as, as best I can. And uh, so I'm excited to, to, you know, show that these last two games and then going into next season, prepare in the offseason, get guys together so that we can perform at our best.